ambitious. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be reacting to High School Musical, the musical, the series, season four, episode four. Why do I keep going season two? I think because I did Heartstopper, so I'm like season two, season two. And then Summer I Turned Pretty was season two as well, so I'm more like season two. But season four, episode four, in the last episode, Gina and Ricky had the best Can I Have This Dance duet. It was honestly, I've been replaying it on Spotify, no joke. So many times, like it's ridiculous, amazing. Um, so obviously, Jean is the lead, and her schedule's like really hectic, and she's trying to like make it back and forth between the musical and the, and you know the movie set, and it's like you know it's a little bit, you know. But Miss Jen actually rang Danny and see to see if she wanted to be uh, Gabriella because obviously Jean is gonna be too busy to not you know so it's gonna be very so danny's back now and like her and ricky i don't know what's gonna happen but like she's like i'm playing gabriella whatever so it's gonna be very interesting and then uh what's his name mac and gina but he see he suggested to her to do like the fake dating to like get the public for publicity and stuff it's like girl i swear to god this will be very interesting because like i don't know uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see the jealousy between you know Gina and Ricky, like, it's going to be very interesting because, like, they're going to be jealous of one another. Like, it's, I don't know. Like, but it might not be, actually. It might not. But, like, I don't know. It's going to be, we'll see how it plays out. And Maddox and Jet came back. And Ashlyn and Maddox, hey, hello. Um, and Jet and Ricky, I love their friendship, actually. It's, like, so many things happening then. Uh, Carlos and Sab are still on, on good terms. But we started to talk about it slowly, so good things are coming. So, um, without further ado, let's just get right into episode four. Let's go. I think we're gonna need more oil. Zac Efron was famously shiny in Baywatch. What's happening? Please tell me <laughs> What's happening? was Gina's idea. Why do you smell like a french fry? Someone was supposed to get tanning oil, but we ended up with cooking oil instead. <laughs> My son, the funnel cake. Are you sure you want the burden of telling Gina we may be forced to look elsewhere? Ricky and Gina are just friends. Nailed it, Dad. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> My son, he'd be so supportive. He's like, no one's supposed to know. <laughs> it's like, they're just friends. Like, boy, really. No, so like, Gina doesn't, obviously Gina doesn't know. And like, so has Daddy been casted officially? Or is Miss Jen kind of like, if your schedule's too hectic, we have a backup, you know what I mean? Just in case. You deserve to hear it from me that Danny's taking over as Gabriella. I hate everything Honestly, about Honestly, she'll be able to focus just on the movie now. Ashlyn's not texting Big Red. It's a lot, but I'm just going to go out that door and we're all going to have a great night. Happy Halloween? I'm stressed. Something's gonna happen, man. Something once happens. What are we doing? What's happening? Okay! Is this about Gina? She's the reason I do everything I do. Listen, I'm having a bit of a dance break, like a song. Okay. So our inner, like, song and dance about Gina. Okay. Okay, Ricky. Alright. Oh, interesting. Okay, no, this song is actually a vibe. I'm sorry, like, I like this song. Oh, maybe this is like Ricky's inner life, but no, it's like everybody. So, like, they're having a little bit of a song. Alright. Yeah, okay. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. It's Hasbro musical. Like, I should, I should expect scenes like this in the show. I was kind of low-key caught off guard for some reason. But, like, this song's a vibe. I like it. Yeah, lock him in there, bitch. That's right, girl. Lock him in there. No, but it's interesting to see, like, all their, like, their fear. What is their fears? Like, uh, Joshua. Ricky's fear is Danny being the leading lady because, like, you know, and not being and not Gina. Gina's fear is Mac and, like, all these possibility of, like, you know, the movie and, like, her whole life changing and then Mac's, like, fake relationship, whatever. Ashlyn's fear is, you know, her true feelings to Maddox. Carlos's fear is losing Sab. Like, all of us actually, like, it's actually really good, you know, how they've done it. Enough. Wow. All right. I like that. That was so random. Because, like, obviously, this is whatever all you know the characters, the main characters, like, are dealing with. These are their fears, and they're gonna come to life soon. 
Very interesting. I liked that. That song actually was a vibe. The dancing was on point. The choreography was on point. Singing was on point. The makeup, like the whole like zombies. Okay. It was giving Glee, heads will roll, thriller. It was giving that. But you know what? Far out. That was a bloody jam, I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like that song. I'm hot Eleanor Roosevelt, queer icon. Is Maddox, well, in, that's right, is Maddox in the, in the necklace, huh? And you are Catwoman. So I haven't told Ricky about Max's idea to pose as a couple to promote the movie. It's not the kind of thing you text your boyfriend. It's more of a in-person in conversation. Yeah, yeah, it is. Someone's sex will help benefit my career. Oh, so we're considering, but that's fine. But I'm glad that, you know, obviously, obviously we're tell Ricky first, but like, I mean, I guess it does make sense. Like the publicity, like, I mean, I get it. Like if, don't want the movie to get, you know, go viral and people talk about it. I guess it makes sense. And I think Ricky will, do you reckon Ricky will be on board with it? I don't know. We'll just find out. I just called him my boyfriend for the first time. Oh. Next thing I'll be saying, I love. Oh, girl, girl. Uh. <laughs> Who are you fucking joking, Gina, honey? Gina, because I, I was gonna say I've never heard her say he uh, called Ricky her boyfriend because obviously they've kept it a secret relationship. So and but and you know, ob I mean obviously they're official, but like it's the never. I don't think they've ever called boyfriend and girlfriend to each other before. I don't just I love girl. You are treading. Oh, she's in love. I mean, we knew she was in love, but like, come on. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Are you yelling? Uh, <laughs> yeah, she pulled out that. Honey, your gay is showing, honey. <laughs> oh man, Ashlyn's gonna go through it. Sorry to be great, but like, whatever. Like, actually, I miss him, Loki, but like, not with Ashlyn. Like, Ashlyn and Maddox is where it's at. Oh, hey, hot Eleanor Roosevelt. You got that? Oh, really? Hot of Eleanor Roosevelt. you got that. Let's get this started, party. Nope. Uh, let me come in again. Sorry. Oh, okay? <laughs> Fucking idiot, oh, Luffy. Definitely not Batman. That's sus. That's sus. Who is it? That's so sus. Who the fuck is it? I want Ricky and Gina to talk, please, because I'm very stressed about it. I wasn't that stressed before, but now I'm stressed. I was like, they're just causing drama. For the the rise are just causing drama for no reason. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Don't take candies from strangers. I'm still staring at the same eight sweatshirts. They're all so pretty. So what does that handsome Mr. Mazar have to say? He said that I might find well, something unexpected if I look outside the Ivies. Well, I just go for it. You'll figure something out. I agree. Uh, no. I feel like she's putting so much pressure on herself to get into these goods, which is fine, but it's too much. Like, it's all about that. You need you need to kind of just live a little, you know. Enjoy, have have a good time, have a good night, you know. Not to worry too much about it. And yeah, I agree with Mister Mazara to look, you know look outside the box or you know outside of the eight schools. Like it doesn't have to be an Ivy. I mean, there are different options. You never know. Oh, they're gonna freak if we do this right. What is it? Just what tell is me it? what you need. Thanks, Bro Bear. What is it? <laughs> These wildcats are gonna sh their pants, dude. Can't say that. Yeah, it's a Disney show. You can't say that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still doing it. Dead. Yeah, it's kind of killing me that I can't kiss you right now. Speaking of things that are killing me, uh, <laughs> you know how in theater when there are casting problems you can't. It could be small. Okay. Well, I've actually got something to tell you too. Spooky. Ooh, oh! No, they're just saying the same. They're just like so, they're not even completing each other's sentences. They're literally saying the exact same word together. Come on, please. Are they more... That could not be more right for each other. Like, listen. I don't want them to talk now. Like, this is the time I don't care to tell when we need to speak. Because it's bothering me. <laughs> hey, everyone. Oh, it's nice really? to see you all outside of set. Really? Ashlyn, Carlos, Maddox. Hey, you're the wow guy, right? Uh, who almost ruined the take. Okay, and enough shade to this boy. Do not shade my son. Only I can shade my son. No one else. I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but seriously... Mac, settle down for a second, okay? You're a guest here. Who invited you, Bobby Gina? If he says he's gonna say something about the dating thing, he's gonna say something. You watch. He, you watch. He'll say something. I like the crib, G-Force. Exposed out beams. Very on G-Force. I wish I could take credit for it, but we're 
Hey, G Force, would you like to join me for some punch? <laughs> oh, 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 hey, wow, guy, would you mind grabbing me a glass too? Well, yeah. Why don't love oh, jealous Ricky? No, seriously, can you give me one? Boy, you have two legs. Get it yourself. Sorry. Get it yourself. Fucking ask my son to get it for you. Sorry, who are you? You might be some famous person, you know, out there, but here, in this house, you are no one to me. <laughs> I don't care about you. I miss my fake girlfriend's party. <laughs> but I might. Yeah, I can honestly only imagine. So. <laughs> No, there's no competition. Just shut up. There is no competition between Ricky and Mac. I forget his name because he's relevant to me. There is no competition of five you. Like shut. There is no Jet. Be be quiet. There is no competition between the two. Okay. Oh. You were saying? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hey, you got it. Hey. <laughs> no, literally, you know what? I validate what the, uh, I validate what Ricky just did. You know what? It is what it is. I'm. So, I don't condone usually, but today I do. Today, <coughs> today I do. Sorry, but. And come for my girl and he and my son is there. Yeah, yeah. Jenny's got a crush. People. What have I done? Ended up with the most eligible bachelor. And so Are we gonna break up? Who is it? Cause I feel like why are we showing this? Like what's the point of showing this? Well them two, you know, together. Like, what's... There's got to be a catch, right? Like, why are we showing this? Like, what relevance? Unless they break up and then, you know, she maybe she starts to date Mr. Mazzara. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't... I don't know. Did I... I couldn't remember if I shipped them more. If I shipped Je Miss Jen and Mike more than Benjamin and her. Because I think Mr. Mazzara is the underdog this season. Hey, Wildcat! Daddy, shut up, girl! Get away from me. Why is she dressed as Vanessa? Why is she here? High School Musical 3? Hey, you remember Gina? My switcheroo. Love that for us. <laughs> oh my god. What is she talking it's, about? Um, because this is not what we talked about. <laughs> we didn't. Wait. Oh my did god. Did she go as a different Zac Efron movie? Are you giving 17 again? Okay, what is even happening? Yeah, what is. What, so, who are you, Danny, to say we're doing couples costumes? Sorry? Excuse me, ma'am. What did you say? What did you did you say? This is not what we talked about. Sorry, who are you? What? First of all, who invited her? I don't recall. Like nah nah nah, it's getting big. You're beginning a bit too close to the line, girl. Let's begin. Ashen, really? Not the time. Hi, the North High or something. Who the fuck is under that mask? Okay, these tarot cards. It better be Sap. Sorry. Are very. <laughs> Oh, she planned this, she planned this, she planned this. It's really, it's really, it's really, it's really. Wow! Oh my god, what do we do? Call the ambulance! Call your mouth to mouth! I'll do mouth to mouth! Bitch, first of all, so wow, well, this happened too quickly. Can't just say. <laughs> Can't just say. <laughs> this little trick is actually very, like... Full on, like this is full on a little bit, but I'll do mouth to mouth, Ashlyn, honey, girl, your gaze, like out there now, like you fucking can't hide it any longer. As a friend. <laughs> 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 I felt like I owed you all a good scare after the legend of Susan Fine kind of crashed and burned. <laughs> but see how worried Ashlyn got. I know it was like you know, but she was she got a little bit worried. She's like, oh my god, like. Oh, to mouth to mouth as a friend, girl. You are fooling nobody at this point. Why would I be crying? It was humorous. These are laugh tears. Oh, Shall girl. We, oh, we need to speak about this, honey. Yeah. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Seven and I are over. Could be for me, though. Mad and mad or bad. And although Gina and I... Really? Really? That is very good information to know, Maddox. Very interesting information. 
haven't of you declared what we are yet. I'm There's sorry. definitely something special happening here. What sorry. did you say? What now? Yeah, I'll literally. Just check my TikTok at midnight. Let's go with that. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what's Oh uh, no, why can't we just tell him? This is what happened. I, look, they did try to talk about it, but like people could get in the fucking way. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Prank. We're stepping into the role of Gabriella in East High's production of HSM3. Oh my god. Alongside Forever Zach Efron. Ricky with the Shut the hair. Fuck Wait, up. what? You didn't tell everyone the plan? Okay, um, it seems the cards have awoken some demons. Um, wow, the one she's like, my forever Zach. But girls, you know what? It's one thing to have the lead. Like, that's fine. Like, you miss Jen often. Like, it's whatever. But don't go around calling yourself my hit goat, calling hit Ricky your forever Zach girl. No, this is not. This is not the thing. This is not it. This is not it. You know what? Fuck this episode. <laughs> I hate this episode. Get away from me. I wanted to talk to you in private, but it's a good thing. How is it a good thing to be fired from a show? She has a point. Please mm. just stay out of this. And I'm not the one who's supposed to be posting a selfie at midnight with Matt. Hey, that's just a stunt. A stunt is a yeah. dog making spaghetti. That wasn't a stunt. Keep wow, I knew. No, no, I see that you just speak about this to. Fucking, oh, they're going to be fine. I'm not worried. I'm worried a little bit. No, I'm not worried. It's fine. They're going to overcome. This is just an argument. They're going to overcome because of everything. They're going to overcome. It's fine. You really did that. Troy and Gabriella are characters, not a real couple. Oh. Well. <gasps> what? Ah, stop! Okay, maybe I love this episode. Maybe I love this episode. <laughs> God is real. We are a couple and don't really want to hide anymore because we know we can get through anything. That's right. right that, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is how it was. It was getting exhausted. Thank God. You know what? Bless. I actual God bless. I told you I wasn't worried. I had a lot I was like a little bit of doubt. I was like, oh, but like that. Nah. Like it's fun. Like, see, they can overcome anything. See? I love it that. I could die happy now. This part. Plus me. Plus you? Ricky, uh, I don't think you two have ever oh, met, yeah. but he's a classmate in a. You haven't told her about me? Mm -mm. Oh, oh no, now I'm worried again. Yeah. Ricky, wait. Go after him. I thought it was a nice reading. Thank you. Happy Halloween. We need to go speak to him. Oh. But see, didn't wasn't there a problem with Regina's mom? Like, I don't know if you knew much about it, but like, does, Regina has a brother, right? Was it, was it, oh, what's his name? I forget. But like, maybe there's a reason why she hasn't told her mom yet. Like, I want to hear her side first. Maybe we're both just looking for something else. Yeah. Or something more. Don't think I'm totally over my marriage falling apart. Okay. You were such a ray of sunshine. See, I can, I can, I, I thought this was going this way. I'm not mad at it because, like, in hindsight, I don't, I, don't, I mean, I may have shipped them before, but now I'm just like, eh, I don't really see it. Like. Eh, like, they just don't seem to fit as a couple now, you know what I mean? Like, it was cute when they were flirting and stuff, but now I'm just like... I think it was, that was that's all it should have been. Like, it shouldn't have even, you know, now I'm just like, yeah, nah, I mean, you, cut the, you need to cut the cameras. I guess I should thank you for saving my life, theoretically. What are friends for? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know how big a first crush can be, right? Oh my god, we're gonna say something now. We're we gonna say something, like, I don't know. We should say something. Because, like, clearly we should say something. Like, we should. Oh, Ashlyn. Like, like you can change your whole world. Mm. People have said. <laughs> but it's all about timing and waiting for the right moment. Can I hear it? Yeah, oh. Do you promise not to judge me? Oh, Ash. You know, I could never promise that. Judging people is my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> no, she gonna sing the song. It's gonna be like not about her, but like, well, let's be honest, like about it's, oh, Paulette, and maybe this will be the momentics. Maybe real. I'm um, don't. I will probably die in the next minute. I will probably die. Who even knows now? 
Oh, thank Trick God. Trick or treat? Oh. Treat, Sebastian. I'm sorry, I've been avoiding you. This is probably going to be hard to say. Sebastian, would you just? I cheated on you while you were oh. camp. Oh. Walking home in the dark. And wow. I'm sorry. What did you say? What did you say? I cheated on you while you were at camp. You cheated on him when he was at. Wow. Wow. That is a plot twist. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? I hate... What the fuck is the reason? Who was it? Doesn't matter who. What the fuck? Sorry? I come a little famous For ruining everything And I hope This is cute changes All I know Right now So watch you All I know their voices complement each other so well. I mean, can they be any more endgame? Like, their voices together. Okay! Oh, waking up in a world I created But it's only in my head till I spill Come on! Fuck off! This is so cute, man! Ah! Uh, my heart is sold to them. My heart is sold to these women. Like, I'm telling you. Like, my second favourite ship after Rena at this point. Like... Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Like, she, you choose to, like, you're singing. Okay, first of all, you know, Ashton's singing, like, cool. Then she, Maddox grabs the book and, like, is singing with her. Then she chooses to get up and sit near her, close to her girl. I cannot. I, this song is magical. My heart just stopped for a second. Boy, pick up that fucking phone and bring her at the right thing. Thank you. Hey, G. Um, I think I need a minute. I'm sorry. But what do you mean? What does that mean? What the? Is, that, is it like... I was like, okay, we like had a bit of a, you know, thing, then it, she, then Gina was like, it's my boyfriend, and she came out, you know, it was beautiful, and we were all good, and then, you know, but there's a, I, I know in my heart, there's a reason why she hasn't told her mum yet, I know in my heart, I know, we just need to talk, we need to talk about it, but he's like, I need a minute, I know, but I need, don't leave, they leave me on the cliffhanger, and they're not happy, I swear, oh, no, so oh, no. oh my god, look at them! Oh, no, you... Can you kiss? <gasps> oh, stop it! Sorry, I was not ready. I was like, kiss, but I didn't think it was actually going to happen. Oh, bitch, 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 bitch. I need to prepare myself. <laughs> like, after singing that romantic song together, how do you knock at each other? Who the fuck are you? I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry. Are you fucking serious? Like, now, really, bitch? Why? Who the fuck are you? That's breaking and entering. Who the fuck is in the pumpkin suit that's breaking it that's crime i call this a hate crime actually call it what it is <gasps> bitch that was that was gonna get fuck off fuck off at this point who the fuck is the in the pumpkin suit is dead to me you're ruined dead go check on jet yeah oh shit that was so close wait but ashen's still in a relationship is she ashen still with big red is she still in a relationship with him? I can't remember. I think Maddox is... Maybe it's a bit that they didn't kiss now because they're still in relationships. So, like, we should end it first and then get together. And you've been torturing me all year, accusing me of cheating with yeah, you the whole time. Yeah, that's so bad. Please forgive me. I've been racked with guilt and... Come on, let's go inside. No! I'm done talking. I need um, some time to process things. Yeah, I'm pretty angry at him. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Trick or treat. Who the fuck are you? Jerry, what are you... You don't even go here. Wait, so he was your lover? Oh, that's the boy from the, the documentary, right? 
That's the same boy, right? I can't remember, to be honest. I can't remember. He was, like, in mind. Like, I can't remember. Okay, what the fuck's going on? So he... Uh, what? Because... I but I always believed that anything could happen on All Hallows' Eve. Okay. Oh, my God. This is insane. Everyone, just leave me alone. Actually adorable when you yell. <laughs> so I'm giving him, like, the side eye. Like, you cheated, sir. Okay, but Jared's been, not gonna lie, that's a little bit stalkerish. Like, I'm getting, like, stalker vibes. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what's happening? Gina and I have been, um, secretly dating since the beginning of summer. And I found out tonight she's too embarrassed to tell her mom about me. Danny's extremely upset that I didn't tell anyone she's playing Gabriella. She stormed off and went live, and now her followers are coming after me with pitchforks. Oh. Which means the musical is probably off, I guess. Danny can just shut the fuck up. A girl, you are lucky that you were invited back to the school beach. So I hate Danny. You are lucky that he invited Miss Jen called you and like I'll give you a second chance. You are lucky now you're gonna go live and get them to a blast, Ricky. Like what's wrong with you? Girl, be fucking grateful you got a second chance. Hello? Like this is not how you take your second chance, honey. I'm sorry, but nah, it doesn't fly with me. What the fuck's going on? A lot went down. Yes, a lot went down. That's right. I'm sorry, how was, um, where's my dad? I could kind of use a little help figuring out my future. Oh, With Gina? Uh, I'll settle for college stuff at the moment. Have you ever written a letter of recommendation? No, I'm a terrible writer. Richard Bowen, I would be truly honored. Oh. You will have it by tomorrow. Oh, God bless. Thank you. Seeing me. Oh, um, Miss Jen is so important to me. She, Miss Jen is... Because these kids are her kids, you know what I mean? And she'll do anything for them, like, in whatever way she can. Like, it just... I mean, of course she'll do a letter recommendation, like, of course. And, like, I know that a lot of pressure has been on Ricky because, you know, he's seeing everyone called, he's doing all these letters, and, like, everyone's, you know, he, she's, like, really on top of it. And then he's, like, I didn't know where to fucking start. And his whole, you know, his whole words crumbled. You know, he's having fun with Gina. Like, all this shit happened. And then the college thing, too. He's, like, I haven't, you know, what am I doing? But I'm just, Miss Jen, this is always, like, these are her kids. You know what I mean? These are her kids, too. Oh, me, too. Always. You know how you said I could call if I ever needed a favor? <laughs> Who is it? Is it Benjamin? Well... I don't, but, um, I think Ricky does. Who is it? Who is it? Girl, who is it? I'm fucking curious who the fuck it is, but anyways. Well, this episode was not what I pictured. This is not how I thought my night would be going. I didn't think I would be, like, left feeling... I mean, look, we were in the conflict part of the season. We had the happy moment, and now we're at the conflict part of the season. Like, it's, I'm not too shocked. I expected something to happen like this. Like, I'm not shocked. It hurts me, yes. But I have faith in Rena, and they will get through this. They will overcome anything. They've said it millions of times. This is just a bump in the road. It would be unrealistic if I didn't have an argument or, like, some conflict didn't happen. If they just lived their perfect little life, it wouldn't be realistic. Because there's always sh obstacles for every couple, every person to overcome. This is Rena's obstacle, and they will get past this. They will jump over that obstacle, and they will round, round, round. They will run straight to the finish line as Endgame. Let me tell you, manifest. I'm not worried. I'm a, I, I, my heart hurts, yes. And things seem grim right now. But it's fine. I have... Tr I have Faith in my ship, our ship. I have faith. It's going to be great. It's going to be fine. We're in the conflict stage. It's going to be fine. Daddy can choke. Sorry, who are you? Daddy can choke. Mac can choke too, but he can choke less. Daddy can choke more. Because, like, girl, you should be grateful. You got a second chance to, you know, and Miss Jenny invited you back. And then you're going to act all high and mighty. Like, sorry, you don't have a place here. Like, you don't have any right to say, you know. Ricky Gina should have probably spoken about what was going on. Yes, I agree. But there's no need for you to get on your high horse and go live and then get all your followers to attack Ricky. Sorry. Well, that's fucking weird, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? And then Mac, whatever, they care about him. Like, it is what it is. It just annoys me. Yes, he annoys me. Okay, whatever. But, like, it's, it's fine. But Sab cheating on Carlos. I'm sorry. That caught me off guard. What the fuck do you mean? 
And I want to know who it was with. I know it doesn't matter, but I would like to know who. For peace of mind and closure, I would like to know who it was. You know what I mean? But then Jared, the other guy, like, alright. So he likes Carlos, that's fine. But the poor boy, he just found that he's being cheated on. Then finds his fucking this stalker is Jared. You know, the, a guy from the camp. Oh shoot, I think it's the guy from the camp. I can't recognise him. But anyway, it's like... This Carlos is probably like, what the fuck is going on? Like, leave, he's like, leave me alone. There's too much. Like, oh my god. So, that's happening. And I've... Mm, bitch. Um... Ashen and Maddox, thank they are my shining light in this in this episode because oh, I was upset. They their do it was amazing and like they were about to kiss, but then I re I wanted them to. But then I realized that like they're both in relationships still, I think. But they said Maddox said it was like rocky, it was bad, so like they'll break up soon. It's so, like soon, soon. But um what an episode. What a Halloween bitch. This whole episode was a trick. I was tricked. This week, anyways. Um, so that was my reaction to episode four. Miss Jen and Mike broke up. I kind of saw it coming. They don't really fit. When well, I really work well back then, eh, I don't really feel anything for them. If she was with Benjamin, she doesn't have to actually. She doesn't have to be with anybody. Let her live on her own. Like let her be thriving on her own. We don't need a man. It's fine. Um, but I'm glad that she's there for Ricky. Like that's nice still. Like of course she will be. Any, uh, she would have been there for any of the kids. But um, very interesting fucking developments this week. So guys, that was my reaction. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Love you all, and ciao for now. Bye guys.